don't get the same opportunities to just have fun and learn online like they do in person, right? Wrong. Building a strong classroom community is just as important online as it is face to face. In fact, building a strong classroom community is just what you need in order to have a successful school year. That's why today I'm gonna give you 10 really fun virtual Zoom icebreakers for kids. Here on Everything Aja, I help parents and teachers just like you make teaching and learning as fun as possible. This way we get kids that actually fall in love with the art of learning. If this sounds like you, then make sure that you like this video, subscribe down below, and make sure you click that bell icon because it's the bell notifications that's going to alert you each and every time I upload my new videos on Tuesday. Well, today I'm going to give you 10 really fun virtual Zoom icebreakers for kids that are absolutely perfect for going back to school. Okay, so our first game is actually a free game that I created for you guys. The link is down below in the description and the comments. But our first game is called School Charades. Which one of y'all love acting? Like, raise your hand. Do you like acting? I do, I do. <laughs> I actually used to be in theater from about sixth grade all the way till I graduated high school. Fun fact about me. But anyways, our first game is called School Charades. So in order to play School Charades, you'll divide up all the kids on the call in up to four different teams. I find it best just doing like two or three teams, that way it keeps it simple. Anyways, once everybody knows what team they're gonna be on, you'll choose one person on that team to go at a time. Make sure that everybody's camera is turned on so that they can see one another. All you will do is simply bring up the School Charades and share your screen. Now when it's a child's turn, they will simply Simply act out one of the spaces shown on the screen. Clearly the answer is somewhere on the screen so everybody has a fair chance of getting it correctly. Now once that one person is acting out one of the spaces, their entire team is in the chat box kind of messaging each other trying to figure out exactly which space they think their teammate is acting out. Now during each person's turn, you will go ahead and set a 60 second timer. At the end of 60 seconds or when the team is done deliberating and they have one final answer, you'll go ahead and allow the team to share out what they think their teammate is acting out. If they're right, ding, 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 that team gets a point. But if they're wrong, all the other teams get that point. So it makes it really fun. Of course, you can always use the annotate and go ahead and put a nice X on a square that's already been acted out. Then you'll continue to play the game until the whole entire board is clear or until you reach your designated amount of points. So you could do 10 points or even 15 points. The first team that makes it to your special number would win. Now you guys know I love me some Zoom games. I love games, period. I love having fun. Now our next game is called This or That, and it is actually an on-screen game that I created. I have the link down below in the description. But with This or That, you gotta remember the point of icebreakers are for everybody to get to know one another. Now you can actually play this game one or two ways. You can have kids stand up for this and sit down for that, or I also give you printables that you can actually have the kids print out, and this way they can just show up their signs for this or that. As the game plays out, kids will be able to figure out, do they like hot dogs or hamburgers? Do they like iPhones or computers? And it's just a really fun game for kids to get to know one another. For each question, kids have to figure out if they like this choice or if they like that choice. Alright, so I'm coming in at game number three. We have four corners get to know you version. Oh yeah. Now with this game, you'll actually have your own set of A through D printables. You can send these out to your kids in advance so that they can all print out their corresponding sign. Or you can have kids simply just write out A through D on sticky notes or sheet of paper. Or your kids can even use a chat box. It's totally up to you, whatever floats your boat. With Four Corners, everybody will be answering what their favorite things are within certain categories. So for example, you might have meats and you will see four options displayed on the screen. Everybody must then choose their favorite favorite meat of the four options. The game will continue to play out and everybody will 
get to know one another and see are they an outcast or does everybody also like the same things as them now our next game is another on screen game that gets kids moving but it's called let's move yes the get to know you version style so with this game all kids on the call will make sure that they have their cameras on they don't need to talk but they at least need their cameras on all kids will actually be answering questions if they like certain things remember on screen games are simply a video so all you have to do is click play and the directions will be shared with you and the children kids are forced to physically answer things about themselves if you like the color blue touch your nose if you like to read then jump the game will continue to play out and all kids will be able to physically see on the screens which one of their classmates likes the same things as them all right so we are on an on-screen game roll so let's just keep the fun going our next game is called search and find school supplies this is another really fun game that gets kids' brains moving. So with Search and Find, this is another on-screen game, so all you have to do is hit play and the directions are shared for you. But kids will be going on four different rounds. During each round, they will have 10 to 15 seconds to be able to count all the school supplies on the screen. Now, the object of this game is to be able to collect all 13 school supplies and put them in your book bag. This means you're ready to start school. So this also means that prior Prior to the game, you'll tell all the kids on the call to get out a sheet of paper and a pencil. Believe me, they won't be able to win without it. During the 15 seconds, they will look on the screen and count out how many globes they see or how many notebooks or how many pencils, and they're going to write that down. Once kids get the opportunity to count all their school supplies, the answer will be revealed for them, and they'll see if they're correct and successfully collected that school supplies, or if they weren't correct and then they just don't get that school supplies. At the end of the game kids will be able to see how many school supplies they were able to collect and put in their backpack now our next game is called get to know you scavenger hunt bingo yes and it's scavenger hunt and bingo all together now this game is actually on a pdf file so you can simply share it on like seesaw or google slides just somewhere that all kids can have access to it kids can either print it out at home or if they're on seesaw they can just simply write it on the screen directly Anyways, they'll need the PDF. Y'all get the point. Now, the game works best if you enable breakout rooms where kids can actually go in the breakout rooms and actually communicate with one another. This way, you don't have 20 kids all yelling at the same time. But if you have at least a few different rooms going, you'll be able to allow the kids to get to know one another. Now, with Scavenger Hunt Bingo, the object of the game is to be the first person to get five in a row, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. And in order order to get five spaces in a row you have to get to know your new classmates and so you're gonna have to figure out who plays the piano or who's traveled out the country now once you have found five people in a row you'll simply go to the main room and type in the word bingo and then of course once you start seeing people get bingo you can shut down the breakout rooms and have everybody come back to the main room now you might be wondering okay she is giving us all these on-screen games where do i get these on-screen games i've actually created a back to school bundle of games that will literally take you throughout your entire first week of school in the back to school bundle there are six games to last your entire first week of school i've also given you guys the school charades game for free so technically you have seven icebreakers for kids right there at your fingertips and you don't have to do any work. I was trying to think how could I help you guys as much as possible. I have the link down below in the description and also down below in the comments so make sure you click that link. So let's get to our next game. Our next game is Two Truths and a Lie. Yes! So with Two Truths and a Lie you're gonna have one person share to the class at a time. That person is gonna think about two true things about themselves and one thing that is not true. They'll simply share out those three things and everybody on the call will type in the chat box which choice they think is the lie. So the object of this game is to be the one that figures out the lie that is being told. Of course, the person will then reveal which one actually was the lie and then you'll go to the next person. This is just a really cool icebreaker because everybody gets to figure each other out. All right, so our next game is called Back to School. And with this game, you're simply going to share the whiteboard and you're gonna type in Back to School. Everybody will then need a sheet of paper or they can use the chat box but they won't click enter so let everybody know if they use a chat box just type 
don't click enter. We will go ahead and set a timer for two minutes. During those two minutes, all the kids on the call must try to figure out how many new words they can create with the letters of back to school. Then when the timer goes off, everybody will hit enter or share their screen or sheet of paper, whatever it is that they use to write down their new words. And then everybody will count up their words and whoever had the most new words would win. Woo, we are on a roll. Okay, so before I get to our last two games, don't forget you have two things that you need to go ahead and grab. The free school charades game down below in the comments and also your back to school game bundle for the first week of school. All right, so let's get into our our next game and our next game is school jeopardy y'all know if you know anything about me i love a good game of jeopardy it's also really easy to play on zoom with kids so what you're gonna do is divide up all your kids into teams once everybody's in the teams you'll go ahead and give people a turn order so you'll say you'll go first second third fourth fifth doesn't really matter once it's a child's turn they will simply select a category and the number of points now we're doing school jeopardy so all the questions are actually related to school so once a child has selected a category and point value, the answer will be displayed on the screen. That child must figure out the question that describes that answer. Their team can actually help with this by typing in the chat box what they think is also the answer. At the end of 60 seconds, they'll either have to share what they think is the correct answer or they can go with what their team is telling them in the chat box. If they get it right, then they'll get that many points. If they don't get it right, then they'll actually be deducted that amount of points. So you must be careful. All right, so our last game is actually going to involve you to do just a little bit of prep work. You are going to go online and find a classroom picture. Any picture will do so that all the kids on the call will be able to see that classroom. Then you're going to play a really fun game of I Spy and kids will have to figure out exactly what item you're talking about that is displayed in the picture. Or you could say something's fluffy or pointy. Y'all get the point. Anyways, there you have it. You have 10 really fun virtual icebreakers for kids. Don't forget to get your own school charade.